What an end to the season. Fifth place finish, Euro Cup, $45 million into the pool. And wow, what a season. What a season. So today's episode, of course, is going to be the end of season review and transfer window. Uh, We'll look at final season statistics and we'll see our new transfer budget for the upcoming season. So let's take a look at that. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Episode 24, Club 3 of our Journeyman Save here with FM21. Loving Football Manager, fourth year doing this on the channel, and uh, we have reached some new heights with Leicester City. Uh, fourth, A uh, fifth place finish in the Premier League last year. We were supposed to avoid relegation, uh, so a very successful season. Uh, as I mentioned, we pick up over $45 million in er- in winnings for the fifth place finish. We paid out a little over $5 million to the squad. So a lot of money coming into the bank for us. And we are hopeful that we will see the budget here real soon. Before we actually see that, I want to make sure I go back and look at the current budget and see how it ends up. But first off, let's go ahead and Flip the calendar back and look at the 2056 season in our rearview mirror. Noel Mark, a wonder kid, cost us 37 million, and he responds with 35 goals, nine assists in 43 matches, and he is considered the signing of the season. And yet we only get a C plus grade on him. Jamie Romain, of course, we've had on loan here for quite some time from Chelsea. We pick him up for an end-of-contract buyout of $10 million. Uh, We did have to pay because we, being him being English and us being an English side, for whatever reason, the laws or rules don't allow us to make an end-of-contract bid. So we actually had to buy him via transfer. So got a good deal on him. I thought $10 million was fair. 10 goals, 16 assists. I love those numbers from him. 34 appearances for us. Uh, If he can do that, he'll be well worth every penny of that $10 million. He's only 26 years old. Decibal Hildon, uh, wonder kid, he's only 20, cost us $4 million, and 36 appearances, two goals, three assists, including a goal in that Leeds match to uh, clinch European qualifying. Jeanier Solis, uh, we got him on a free, and he became our number one keeper. Uh, so, yeah, that's probably a good deal. And Lucas Licka, $27.5 million, 21-year-old center back, 38 starts. Minsur Jasufi, a wonder kid, $2.8 million and 39 appearances, 36 of those in the starting 11. Gabriel Rossi, uh, $575,000, uh, didn't really play for us, so let's kind of focus on the guys that did. Uh, we had the money to burn, and that's why we signed this guy. Uh, this was at the end of the start of season transfer window. Uh, $91 million. Uh, yeah, probably a little more than I would have wanted to pay. But six goals, 11 assists. I'm a little concerned uh, because we had promised him that we would play him in the attacking mid uh, position as an advanced playmaker. And he ended up playing Shadow Striker, which was our where we were playing. Early in the season, I did change it to an advanced playmaker. But then for the push down the end, I did move uh, Romain up there, and that dropped Ramos into the central mid. And I'm not sure if he's going to be upset about that enough to ask for a trade. We'll see. Um, I don't know that we'll recoup $91 million for him. Carlos Vitor was another wonder kid, 14 and a quarter million, 14 appearances for us. And Alder Marrera, 26-year-old veteran goalkeeper, 925,000 to be our deputy. So that's the end going. We sent out Robert Cernan, of course, the first move of the offseason and $18 million income as he goes to Pauk. Uh, $10 million for Frank Matthews, a young midfielder that just wasn't going to find a role with some of the new signings that we've had. 
30 million for Nagami to move off to, to that club. Uh, in fact, uh, this past week, uh, the other day, I think, uh, was it last weekend or during the week was the, uh, I think 21st anniversary of the murders of the uh, two Leeds fans, uh, at that match. So, uh, still remember Sandy Ramsey goes off to Sheffield for 22 million. Drazen Colick, 28 year old winger goes off to West Ham for 14 and a quarter. Jay Gibbon, our goalkeeper, goes off to West Ham for $28 million. He actually started 47 matches for them. Stigeon Henson's, we got a million and a half for him. $26 million for Dean Clark. I really liked Dean, but we went to that three-back, three-center-back set, and he couldn't slide over to center-back, and he was getting angry about sitting the bench. So I didn't really have a choice but to move him, so we sold him for $26. Kevin Day got just caught up in the numbers in the midfield, $24.5 million, and $3.3 for our former deputy, Radim Bernat. So that is the look at the season transfers. Uh, we were supposed to avoid relegation. We finished fifth, 97% attendance, and Noel Mark was our leading scorer with 31 goals. Board gave us an A+, plus, so they're very happy with us. Man, Man United uh, won the league by three over Man City, but uh, those two teams rolled. Uh, and, of course, you see us down in fifth position. We're still continental reputation, so that has not gone up. Uh, hopefully, if we have a good showing in the Euros this coming season, that can increase a little bit. We don't see new sponsorships at this point. That comes a little bit later, so we'll readdress that when it comes in. Uh, you can see we went from 33 million to 50 million in sponsorship money. Uh, we actually went down in broadcast revenue and just slightly up corporate and hospitality and about 11 million dollars more in competition prize money from the higher finish. Uh, match day commercial and retail was down about 300,000, 4.4 million in total merchandise. Uh, 1.79 million in non-domestic sales. So uh, a lot of Americans buying some jerseys thanks to the American coach. 460,000 jerseys sold led by Noel Mark, Jamie Romain, Eric Graves, Minser Jasufi, and uh, Ramos. So very good year. Our starting 11 looked like this. Licka, Fowler, Hilden on the back line, Solis in goal, Wheel, Matthew, Math, Math, uh, Mateus, Jasufi, Pascarello in the mid, Romain, and Mark and Graves up top. And there you see the final numbers for them. 67 goals. Well, actually, if we go that, 77 goals from our top three, but 67 from our top two. And then we pick up 47 assists from those three plus Jamie Romain, uh, plus uh Jamie Romain. I'm sorry, no, Josh Wheel. Premier League Coach of the Month for April. I think we've got a shot to win the Season Coach Award. That hasn't been named yet. Noel Mark was the fan's player of the season, young player of the season, signing of the season. Luke Rowe, goal of the season. Noel Mark, also the top goal scorer with 35 goals. Romain, 16 assists. Mark, eight players of the match, 7.5 average rating was the highest on the club. And Phil Hutchinson, 36 passes per 90 minutes and couldn't crack our starting lineup. That's crazy. No new records this year. That's how it goes. Uh, I want to look here real quick. I want to take a look at the finances and see how that matches up once we actually tick over. A new Premier League record from Everton's Olzas Gladchenko, 17 assists. Uh, Jamie Romain held the record set two years ago with 15. So we do lose a league record from a club member. Taking a look at the club vision. So in progress, work within the payroll budget, building a new stadium. I don't think we've gotten any news on the new stadium yet. It was still in research. Uh, so for next season, they want us to continue to avoid relegation. So that's good. And reach the second knockout round of the Euro Cup. 
Now they want us to become a, an established Premier League side by the end two seasons from now. So that's fair enough. We'll accept that. There's our club dynamics. Players go off for their vacation. And where are we going to go for our... I've actually made a complaint about this uh, when F when 21 first came out, is the limitations on um, where you go. I mean, there's nowhere in England that we can go. There's nowhere on the continent that we can go. We've got to go to either China or the United States. All right, Noel Mark wins the top goal scorer in the league. That is huge. Nobody picked him at the beginning of the season, and Graves finishes third, only one goal behind Abbas Muhammad. He was leading the way for a long time, but Mark had a huge run. I want to look at his form. I mean, look at the goals down the stretch. I mean, we go back to January 20th, goal, two goals, two matches off, one goal off, one goal off. Back-to-back -back matches off. Five matches in a row with 10 goals. Didn't score against Leeds and then scored in the final against Tranmere. Man, I don't know that I've seen anybody finish a season that strong before. That is huge. He's also English Young Player of the Year, as well as the Golden Boot winner for the league, so that's huge. And Mark is named to the Premier League Team of the Year. Uh, heavily, heavily dominated by Man United and Abbas Muhammad from Arsenal up top. I would like to see that uh, change for the better to have more teams. All right, Rui Ramos is not happy. Wow, he didn't like that, and he wants to leave. I'm, I have no intentions of letting him leave, but we'll see if we if we can get money for him. Uh, I'll I'll sell him because I think Romain is our better option. He's more creative with the assist. I love Ramos, but you know if you're gonna, he's so flexible back here with all the positions he can play. I'm not happy with that. Now here's the issue: he's only valued at 59 million, but he is signed for four more years. He's not going anywhere unless I get some serious money. Going places is uh, the building of a new stadium. So here we go. All right, initial budget. So we were at 21 million on the transfer. They've upped it to 46.8 million, and but they have not changed the wage bill. Fair enough, because we had a lot of wage bill left. But we're going to have to dip into that some this year. All right, so we are currently in a 42,000-seat stadium. So they are going to build a new 55,000-capacity stadium in the city of Leicester. It'll cost $254 million, and it should be completed in at the end of the 2060 season. I wonder, oh, and it's going to be the Vashai, oh, my God. <laughs> Vishai Sridvan Haprabna. Okay. If any of you guys know who that is and why he's a hero, let me know in the comments. Just curious, but I'm not going to call it that. <laughs> and uh, they're going to sell. Oh my God. So the new stadium's $254 million. They're going to sell King Power for $22.5. Really? That's it. We're going to have a $179 million loan and a stadium sponsorship of $64 million. Wow. So we have to start paying this back this year at $700,000 per month. Well, that's one or two players that I can't sign to cover that. Maybe that's not my problem. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Wouters is fired by Chelsea. Really? They finished fourth. They're in Europe. What is the deal, man? Chelsea? Oh, well, they were picked to finish second. I guess that's why. I, I, that's one of the real life things that I really don't like about football is the lack of commitment to a manager. 
and I guess I compare it to American sports where the most successful clubs or franchises are the ones that have consistent leadership at the top. And I mean, finishing fourth in the Premier League is not a horrendous achievement. <laughs> I just, you know, you're still in Europe, you're still making millions and millions of dollars, or as, as The Rock would say, millions and millions of dollars, right? <laughs> I'm interested in that Leeds job, but I'm not going to apply for it. If they come knocking, then we will contemplate it. Eric Graves takes his new contract. Let's take a quick look at the team report. Well, first off, let's jump into squad. All right, so Hutchinson is the only expiring contract. We don't have anybody else leaving this year. Let's filter to three stars. Take out expiring contracts. All right, so Solis in goal, Wheel on the left, Pascarello and Romain on the right. Now, see, here's the interesting thing. Ramos is now down to fourth, third, fourth, uh, a reserve option in midfield. So I could see starting Wheel going with Ramos on the right in the number 10 and then moving Romain. If we did that, then that really makes Mensa expendable. Graves, Mark, I think we're great up there. Cesar is going to be coming in uh, this year. Luke Rowe, is, I think, is a fine option off the bench. I mean, he's 28, and he's, you know, there's nothing wrong with him. So we don't have a whole lot of holes. And then if we drop that down to two and a half star or to two star, you know, then you've got Leon, El Batavi will be coming back. We, we're probably going to sell one of these guys in the offseason. Uh, Gomez, McNeil. We also have Gerber in that mix. And he, you know, he's still developing as a young player. Esser, Esser's here for a while. Chasson will be back, but he's only three. Oh, no, he's leaving. He is leaving. Uh, Esser, I want four and a half star potential. Vitor, five star potential. So I'd be happy with that on the left. Really just need some of these guys to start developing and getting better. Now, you know, of course, they're three star against Graves and Mark. Maybe they are five star players. I mean, they're certainly performing well. Probably can move Mikatan, Mensa, maybe. I'll look at those guys. Gomez Santos is leaving. I don't see a lot of holes here, guys. I just don't. Now, Solis, he's 21, allowed 59 goals, seven shutouts in 36 matches. I, I think he keeps the number one jersey next year. I don't see the need to improve on him. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. But we do have to get to July 1st, so let me work towards that. See what we do do in the transfer window. You know me. I'm going to spend some money, and we'll come back uh, after uh, after my run through the off season. We'll come back July 1st, and we will talk about uh, incoming and outgoing players. Well, this was certainly unexpected. The board has just thrown in 29 and a half million to help with our club's running costs. I guess now you know we still have. 116 and a half million in the bank. But are you on camera? He's just checking it out. Uh <laughs> but uh yeah, they um uh, weird. I don't know if they're expecting a, you know, we lost 38 and a half million last season and that was even with the earnings from the league. So we go up any more. I mean, I guess that's just to help offset anything we do to bring in players for Europe this year. Not sure, but wasn't expecting that, but I certainly won't turn it down. We are back with the start of the transfer window. It's only June 10th, but the window just opened yesterday. Uh, Gomez Santos, of course, requested the transfer last near the end of last season. We have moved him on for a fee of $18.77 million to Sheffield United. We do get a C-minus reaction for that, so they're not happy, but off he goes. 
Uh, we do bring in two new signings, Julie, Julian Leon, an 18-year-old goalkeeper, and the 18-year-old wonder kid, Felipe, and uh, B-minus grades for both. So let's get them welcomed in. We'll let them go into the locker room and pull some uh, some kit numbers there. I don't mind doing that. I know, you know, nobody's complained on my channel, but evidently, you know, on the bigger channels, a lot of people complain. I just view it that, hey, here's the numbers that are available. Go in there and pick whatever one you want. Um, and that's how it goes. Uh, so anyway, so let's take a look at Leon. He is a pretty stout goalkeeper already at 18. Uh, but, you know, he's right there with Madeira. In fact, I think that makes Madeira expendable. We're going to offer him out. For unspecified 30%, and then we'll we'll mess around with it. We've got a 41 and a half million dollar uh offer pending on uh Mikatan. Hate to get rid of a team leader, but honestly, I think Bielsa would look at that that you're not good enough to play for me anymore, but you're still good enough to play, and you know, I respect you. I would rather you go somewhere else where you could play and start and and have a have a career that you can, you know, still show what you're able to do. Uh, and I think he would let him go at that point. Grutuk is listed for loan. Yeah, he's still not. They have below average. I'm going to reject that just with the, for the training facilities. We have made an offer on Esteban Vega. Hopefully uh, we get a shot. We also had made an offer on that one guy that we talked about. He signed with another club. Uh, who was that? It was uh, Esteban. No, not important. He didn't sign with us. He went somewhere else. I think he went to Aston Villa. Noel Mark is named U Europe's Golden Shoe winner. Uh, 31 goals, a 62 score, edging out Abbas Mohamed and Eric Graves. And yet Abbas Mohamed was named the European Footballer of the Year. Mikatin has signed a deal with West Ham. He gets his work permit. Uh, so $41.5 million, and we are going to wish him the best of luck. And off he goes. We'll get $36 million added to the transfer budget. So that's actually going to be helpful. That, that'll go up to about $75 million here in just a second. And actually $83 million in the budget. So. I think we're going to have to go out and actually spend some money here. I, I've been looking at some players, but we had one guy I wanted to sign, and I, I couldn't sign both of them, and then I ended up, the guy that I made the offer on uh, signed with Villa. So, yeah, that was disappointing. All right, Mikatan has left the club, but Mintz is not going to start either, although he could. But we really saw him drop off last, you know, last season. I can't, I can't in good faith. Gerber's not good enough to start. Those guys are all out on loan. You know what? If we do that, we make Mensa captain and then Graves. Really? But at least Graves would be on the field. Fowler's there. How many matches did he start? I mean, he started 34 matches. You know what? I think that has to be our guy. I'm going to make him the captain. Men, so we're going to keep as vice captain. I wish there was an option. You know how, like, I don't choose penalty takers. I let the squad kind of, you know, go with it. I wish there was an option to have the squad nominate their own captain. I think that would be an interesting twist. All right, well, let me get back into the business of transfers. And uh, we'll be back when we've got news. We have two signings to announce today. Uh, we are probably going to be trying to sell Josh Wheel. Uh, he he wanted about a hundred thousand more, and I was okay with that. But he wanted to be he wanted to play attacking mid center where we already have Romain and uh, Ramos. So and I needed him on the left wing, and he didn't want to play there. And he's been playing there for us since he joined the squad. 
So he would not budge off of that. So I had to back out of negotiations and now he wants a transfer. And this was all because Stoke came in with a bid for him. So uh, anyway, we may be trying to sell him for some big English money, you know, like double or triple what his value is, because that's what English players seem to go for. It's odd that they want the human owner to pay that much, but the AI won't pay that. That's interesting. Uh, we have brought in two players, as I mentioned, so we'll look at them real quick. Cedric Lecomp is an 18-year-old striker, five-star potential. He is uh, really good. Uh, but he will be future potential and probably going to be on our bench right now uh, to replace Gomez Santos and Mikatan. So he'll be our number three striker, I believe, possibly number four. Uh, but he'll be in the mix there. And the other guy, I just unlocked in the Splash the Cash achievement, uh, Fred Impossi. A 20-year-old wonder kid. We bring in another French wonder kid, uh, and he is a number 10. Uh, he won't play striker with eight finishing, but he could be a number 10 or a midfielder possibly. But I think he's going to be a number 10, allowing Romain to move to the outside somewhere. And I believe with this, we're going to try to sell Ramos, although we're not getting any interest anywhere near what we want for him. So he may just have to stick it out and warm the bench. But he is a wonder kid, 20 years old, uh, came up through uh, Monaco, and we have splurged big time on him, and we only get a C-plus grade. <laughs> so I'm not worried about his barren spell because his finishing is not great, and he won't be in front of goal. He'll be number 10 for us. So we we are down to 10 million uh, on transfers. So Pretty much done. I think we've got a couple of guys that I'm looking at, and then depending on who we can sell, we may bring somebody else in at that point. But I wanted you guys to see that. So barring anything else, we'll be back in about a week and a half on July 1st, kind of wrap up transfers and uh, end the episode there. So let me see if anything happens. So we're going to go ahead and close out the episode, wrapping up transfers. So let's take a look at the final transfer window. We'll go back to the end of last season just to kind of catch up. So let's see. So Gomez Santos went out for 18.75, Mikatan for 41 and a half, Kowalski for 40 million, and then we brought in. Julian Leon for 650,000, Felipe for 19 and a quarter, Cedric Lecomte for six and a half. Uh, I think we've seen all those guys. Yeah, we had looked at him, but let's, I guess, show you the incoming guys just to remind you. So there's uh, Leon, the Colombian goalkeeper, five star potential. Felipe is uh, central mid, attacking mid, 19 year old Portugal player. And uh, four and a half star potential, very good. I think he's going to slot in either at center back or possibly number 10. Cedric Lecomp, uh, reserve striker. Uh, he's only 18 years old from France, but already very good. Two star current, but five star potential. Fred Impassi from Monaco cost us 74 million. He can play the number nine, number 10, midfield. And he can play on the right wing if we need him to. 18 dribbling. He will not play up front, at least not very often. But very good dribbling, passing. I think he's going to be brilliant in that number 10. And Dalibor Stojadovic, Stojadinovic, uh, center back, six foot four, uh, 20 year old Serbian, and two and a half star current, four and a half star potential. Already pretty solid back there. So he comes in on a free, actually. And then getting up into the current calendar year, uh, Kowalski we already looked at. William Kelly's out on loan. Chasson, who we had the bid, uh, he finally leaves, $23.5 million, And we loan out Paul Wilkinson. Uh, we brought in uh, Cesar on a free. He's 3.5 star current, 4.5 star potential, 19-year-old Spanish striker. Uh, I don't know why he was out of contract, but, uh, yeah, we jumped all over that. And uh, he looks good. 
Uh, Christian from Real Madrid's B team, 19 year old Spanish player. Uh, he is was available on a free, and again, he can play the 9, 10, and the right wing positions. Juan Pedro Suarez, we got him on a free. Center back, six foot two, 21 year old Spaniard, valued at 7 million. Not bad, three and a half star potential, probably some depth. We dropped some money on this guy, Aminu Baffer, and I like him. He's a 21 year old German player, valued at 40 million, three star current, five star potential, left winger. Uh, Cro oh, God, he just looks so good, doesn't he? Uh, yeah, yeah, I like him. And we loaned in uh, George Alexander from uh, FLA in Brazil, uh, number 10, and a central mid. And uh, yeah, he looks really solid. I wanted to buy him, couldn't couldn't afford it. They wanted a lot of money, like 80 million. So we brought him in on loan just to give us some depth. If we look at our team report, we're still filtered down to the two stars. So we've got Solis, El Batabi back from loan. We're trying to get rid of Morera and Julian Leon, uh, who just came in. Uh, so he is, I project him to be our deputy, but we might loan him out. Uh, Aaron Fowler, Hilden, Lucas Licka on the back line, McNeil, uh, Jan Gomez, and uh, we also have, uh, who else is back there? Gerver's back there, Stadjanovic is back there, Paul Satini's back there, and Pablo Maney is back there. I'm going to have to try to loan out or sell a couple of those guys. On the left wing, we've got Wheel and Baffer. That'll be, uh, I don't think there's going to be much competition. Oh, Wheel has really just thrown a monkey wrench into things. He wants to move and uh, leave the club. Uh, wanted to go to Stoke, and he has just fallen apart. Uh, Vitor, we just signed a new contract. Uh, he wanted, you know, I'm a better player than I used to be. Uh, so we may end up moving him on. Esser is our depth there. Uh, we have uh, Jasufi, Wheel, Romain, Felipe, Mpasi, Mpasi. And quite a few other guys back there. Mateus, Luke Rowe, uh, Ramos. I couldn't get anybody to bid on Ramos this offseason. Uh, the bids that we got on him were extremely low. And remember, we just paid $91 million for him. We've got uh, Pascarillo, Romain, and Mensa on the right side. Uh, Wheel, Romain, Felipe, and Posse in the middle, as well as Cesar, Graves, Mark, Cesar, Felipe up top. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what we're looking at going into this year. And I don't believe oh, I have made a transfer offer on Leonardo Bruno. He's an 18 year old center back, uh, 17 and a quarter million. We just did that. So uh, we'll see if that comes about. He's depth. He's really good. And then um, let's see, we've got uh, we've got a loan offer for Leon to go out to the end of the season. We'll see if he takes it. Uh, we also have uh, quite a few offers on Gomez. I'm trying to sell him. A uh, couple of loan offers on uh, Stojadinovic. And uh, so that's it right now. So we'll end the episode there. A lot of business that we've done. Let me know what you think of some of the moves. I think some of these players are going to be big upgrades or at least big depth, quality depth. And we will need that going into the Euro Cup next year because of the fifth place finish. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new or if you haven't done it yet and just forgot. And uh, hey, we'll see you next episode. Thanks so much for tuning in. Take care.